Sabrina, fortune by name, fortune by nature on that last throw of the comp. You've got your first world championship title. How do you feel right now? Over the moon. There's no words to actually describe how amazing that actually is to feel. The fact that I burst into tears straight after it was just amazing. And because I was last, you know, once you've hit a good one, no one can take it off you. Talk us through that final throw. Did you think this is good? Did you think that was going to be the one? No. I absolutely, oh, I was absolutely rubbish at that when I finished. And I, there was a thought that went through my head of, I want to step it out. But I was just like, oh, I just want to throw it, step away and just see what happens. But the fact that it was a really big throw and a personal best, which is something that I've dreamed of for ages now. So it was just amazing. To break your personal best by over 20 centimetres, to shatter the championship record, it must just be a perfect day for you. Oh, after two long, long weeks of being here and going, oh, I want to throw it, I want to throw it, this is the best outcome you could ever think of. But it's on the day. Whoever wins on that day, you've got it. And you know what? This has been one of the days to definitely remember. You're going to have a moment on top of the podium as well with the medal hung around your neck. What's that going to be like for you? Oh, I'm going to end up crying again. <laughs> I think it's going to be one of the moments that it's just going to last forever. You know, like every time you stand on that medal, you go, I've done it for the family, you've done it for the team, and you've done it for the Great Britain. And what achievement is that? Something amazing. And where does this championship rank for you in terms of what you've managed to achieve and what you've done? Oh, well, um, personal best, everything, personal rankings, now it's just Tokyo, it's building up, it's getting there, now it's just the world record to come.